With graphics like that, this guy must work out. How's it going, folks? Coming to you from the shop. I am getting in to beekeeping. So I've got goats and chickens right now. Um, we're raising Nigerian dwarf goats. I've got a breeding pair. And then I've got uh, several golden lace hens, a golden lace rooster, and a couple other roosters. I don't know what brand, what uh, what breed they are, but so the uh, goat thing hasn't worked out. We've went up and down on the numbers that we've had over the years. Um, chickens seem to be probably the best one at least in my area i've got really rocky soil it's hard to grow grass um so it's really hard to keep uh vegetation for them to eat without having to constantly subsidize with hay or goat feed which gets expensive so thought i would try my hand at beekeeping i downloaded the plans and i have a video on making these are the medium or honey supers and i made eight of them I used this, made it out of old three-quarter inch plywood that I had. This was tongue and groove for uh, the interior walls of a house that I demoed for somebody. Um, I know the corners look like crap. I found out after the fact, after doing all of these box cuts with a uh, bandsaw, it's a whole lot easier and a lot prettier to use a dado blade. But I don't have one, so I had to improvise. Um, but that being said, these are going to get a coat of paint. Uh, what I did is after I stapled them together, I, uh, had several tubes of liquid nails that, uh, were almost dried out, which is why that looks so pasty and cocky. And I just took a putty knife and wiped it around the seams. Once I put a coat of paint on it, it ain't gonna make no difference anyway. Um, so I got eight supers and then today... I went and put my first financial investment into beekeeping. So these didn't cost me anything to make. I had all this material. Uh, it was just my labor of putting those boxes together. Um, I need to probably chop these handles down. They're a little big. That's actually a two-by-two, two, but I'll work on that. Um, so getting to the more important part, I spent the first chunk of money on beekeeping today. So, just give you a hint about getting started. I have never done beekeeping, have nothing, no tools at all. So, i have done a lot of research. I looked on Amazon. I looked on several websites. The local um, beekeeping farm here where I live was probably one of the best ones price-wise. Maybe not on foundation, but on just about everything else. So... Initial investment right now is about seven hundred twenty-four fifty-five. So I got a basic kit, which is basically the bottom board. And I'll show you that. This is a cover, so that's the top. The inner cover they didn't have yet. This is a deep, so this is the bigger version of this. I'll put this together here in a little bit. These are the deeps. So it came with one deep bottom board a top uh, 10 frames these are 10 frame boxes also came with a reducer a feeder you put a mason jar in there with uh, sugar and water hive tool bee brush gloves Pretty nice vented uh, heavy jacket, which is probably going to stink where I'm at because it gets 100 plus here in the summer, but I am hoping I don't have to use this very often. Jacket, um, the frames, this is the package for the 10 frames. It came with 10 plastic foundations, which we'll be putting together. I haven't heard too much, too many good things about this plastic foundation. It does feel like they have coated it with wax. 
Um, this is a major large bee operation in the area. They do nothing but raise um, bees for honey. Um, and this is the only foundation they use. So it also came with nails to put the frames together and a smoker. So that was my starter kit. Um, and then another single deep hive kit, which is basically everything I just showed you minus the tools. So I've got a set of frames, a set of frames, a set of foundation, the deep, the bottom, the top. Like I said, the inner cover's not here. They didn't have any of those ready. So I got that whole thing. So that gives me two, two full hive kits with a deep for each one. I've already got four supers over here, or mediums, whatever you want to call them. So that gets me my start for my hives. And then I had to buy, I thought I would buy these two different ways. I bought a nuke, which is basically a box with five frames in it, with an established queen. I believe she's marked as well. Established mated queen. And then a three pound package, which is basically going to be a box, a wooden box that's got wire mesh on the sides with a mated queen that's going to be marked. Um, that was 130. And then I also bought a jar of honey. And after attempting to make these frames myself, I decided if my time's worth anything, there's no way it's worth the amount of time it takes to get all these little intricate cuts done to make these frames. And I looked at several YouTube videos trying to find a knockoff way of doing these. Um, and once I get going, maybe I'll try some of those methods. But considering I've never done beekeeping before, I thought I would buy an actual frame kit. Um, at least this will give me a template um, versus just looking at a drawing. Um, and it's it's the amount of time you spend making all these little intricate cuts, cutting the bottom with your groove and your top, which is here which has even more intricate cuts, having to cut all of those little angles. Um, I just don't see that being worth my time. So, this farm was actually cheaper than Amazon. So, Amazon, it was almost 100 bucks for 100 frames. Here, I was able to get a box, basically a package, which is what this is. So there's, those are the bottoms. Right here is the tops, and there are my sides. I got a hundred of them for 80 bucks, excuse me, which is a heck of a deal. And then Amazon, I've got an order coming of waxed frames that will be here in a couple days. That was about $117 for a hundred of those. So if you figure that up, that's less than a dollar, less than $2 a frame um, to build these. And I've seen them at some of the tractor supply places here. There was a box of 10 medium or a box of five medium frames that were like $25, no, $20, which is $4 a frame. That's ridiculous. So um, in tractor supply, some other places do carry the frames, but if you don't mind doing the assembly yourself, you can get a pretty good deal on them. Uh, the foundation, it tends to be higher than the wood that you're using to make it. So when you're thinking about doing this like i said i've looked at several plans tried to look at some cheap cookie cutter way of making these frames myself i don't see it being worth the time and energy you got to put into making all these intricate cuts these companies that do it have a machine that spits these out by the hundreds so so i will have basically all the frames i need to fill these boxes up here with an extra 20 frames set into the side. I will have two full hive deep bodies with a top, inner cover, and a bottom, reducers, and all my protective gear, plus my two starting packages of bees. So my initial financial investment in beekeeping is gonna be just shy of $900. Well, say 800 and 850, somewhere around there. Because uh, the this doesn't include the uh, foundations for like one t 
120 something 117 120 that i'm ordering from amazon that are coming in so say 850 and that gets me from having nothing to having at least a starter um to get going so that helped having these um and the big reason i wanted to get un uh, assembled non-assembled is that way i can get exact measurements on all this that way if i decide i want to make these in the future and i think the has this grows pending it, it ends up being something i can do in this area and be profitable at i'm going to make the boxes myself the frames i'm probably always going to buy because it's not worth my time um and i'll end up making the covers and the base and all that so um just thought i'd give you a little video on what i'm my initial investment um I'm not going to worry about putting any video together about me putting together the frames because there's 800 videos out there. Um, but I thought I'd at least kind of take you through my steps of getting started. I will uh, kind of make another video when I actually go get the bees. This is the 2nd of March and bee days like April 27th. So it'll be a little while, um, but I'll post some more videos when I get ready to set my uh, boxes up and um, get ready for my bees so hope this helps let me know if you got any questions thanks this guy needs to be a poster child for birth control if you like that video hit subscribe